Views and opinions expressed on this audio or video are not and should not be considered as financial advice. I'm not a certified financial advisor and not registered with Fisca. Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Rewake Videos. We are so excited to be talking about easy equities again. Um, one thing that I believe, as you know, and uh, especially for people who have watched my previous videos, I'm all about long term investments. You know, um, long term investments. The thing is, long term investments help us when it comes to preparing for our, um, you know, buying a house or buying a car or helping us to actually pay for our children's varsity um, tuition and, and so forth. So, uh, long term investment helps. You know, even when it comes to retirement, they they help uh, when it comes to leaving a legacy for your children um, or, your, or for your family. It, it, it helps. So um, I'm all about long term investment. I, I, I want to um, teach people on how they can um, invest money so that they can leave money or wealth or inheritance that is um, that has some for their children or their spouses so they can be able to um, live after your passing or uh, create um, wealth from what you have left them. So um, today we are talking about um, how slash when to invest, right? How slash when to invest in easy equities. So the reason why I'm talking about that today is because I have realized so many people are shaken by the state of our um, stock market today. Um, the companies, many um, companies, top 40 companies, you know, top 100 companies, um, their share prices are going down and people are afraid. I saw um, one of my friends, he has invested also for long term. Um, he's all about stocks. So he, he invested 24,000 rands. So um, when I looked at his um, account, I saw that it was on minus um, 4,000 and he was shivering. He was shaking, thinking that he's losing money. But I encouraged him because there are seasons when it comes to um, companies, right? One thing that we need to understand, there are seasons when it comes to companies. So a company today, when it starts, it it, it, it has dreams, it has goals, uh, it has things that it, it aspires to, 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 to achieve. So um, that company will have its ups and downs, okay? And its downs might last for two years, but it's not going to stay there. You know, it uh, after two years or uh, in three years time, it might go even higher than it was before. Um, so one thing that we need to be able to know as investors is that, you know, a company, especially as beginners, a company is like a child. It's like a family. It's like a marriage. Um, it has its ups and it has its downs. It has its lows and it has its uh, highs. So one thing that we need to know and understand is that, you know, when you see that you're, you have invested 24,000 rands and your portfolio is on negative negative minor, I mean, negative 4,000 rands, you know, and you immediately want to move your money around. It's, it's, that's not bad, but at the same time, you are losing that 4,000 rands. So why don't you wait so that you can be able to gain profit, you know, um, then after that, you can be able to move because companies have their highs and they have their lows. So today we are talking about how slash when to invest in um, using easy equities. You know, um, so it's important. So one of the companies that I was looking uh, looking at right now is Tungela, is is Tungela, and let's start right there. So when it comes to the how. Um, Everything is just here. You just go to open your Easy Equities account um, and go to Invest Now. And when you get there, you will you can click on um, Equities, for instance. Um, and when you get to Equities, you can look at the kinds of companies that you want to invest 
um, on. For instance, ABSA, um, the Standard Bank that, you know, if you're interested, the reason why I love ABSA is that they have a portfolio of property. So when you invest in ABSA, you know as well that you're investing in property. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. I'm sorry for the external noise um, sitting next to my window. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I love APSA. Um, one of the reasons why I love Standard Bank is because they have grown in terms of their investment knowledge, you know. Um, so you can also invest in Standard Bank. Um, also, um, you know, you can look into NetBank because NetBank as well, it's, it's growing when it comes to um, investments. It's growing when it comes to investments. Um, so, um, you know, uh, uh, their knowledge of where to invest, how to invest, how to save, um, you know, property wise, um, when it comes to cars, you know, helping people get cars, giving out loans and so forth. It has grown so you can invest in it because most of us, when we buy cars, um, the, the companies that we use, for instance, motors, they go to um uh, NetBank and NetBank gives them funding for you so you can um, so you can get your car so you can invest in NetBank as well in terms of that so you need to be able to know the kind of company that you are that you are looking to invest in so um, when I click on my watch list for instance there is Tungela because I've been studying Tungela for the past um, I think four months I've been studying their growth level is it four months or three uh, let's say three uh, two to four months let's say two to four months um, I've been studying Tungela so um, I clicked on my watch list and I'm going to go to Tungela so um, as to the how to invest um, using easy equities um we are going to start at looking at um you know let's start at three months you know um Tungela has been um, it's not an old company it's it's not an old company maybe 2021 you know it's not an old company so um so that means it was registered on the jse on the 21st of um of june if i'm not mistaken you can make more of your research so that you can be able to know but um basically it was registered um on the 21st of june i mean 2021 on the 7th of june all right so when the company started it was growing it was growing and it looked like it has potential and now we're looking at it in a in this sense in a sense that um you know in the past uh you know year um the company has been growing but here's the thing when you look at it from a perspective of three months from the 7th of june to let's go to august yes it looks like it has been growing very slow and for someone who have in, who has invest who has invested about maybe let's say 200,000 250,000 it looks like yes they are making profit but then at the same time if you want to invest um aggressively so that you can make um you know 500,000 from your 200,000 then when you're looking at it from a perspective of a person who has invested on the 7th of of june 2021 and he came back and checked it out on the um 27th of august 2021 the person would be discouraged okay but then for a, a financial advisor would encourage them to say hey um, don't be discouraged because this company is ever growing when you look at it and study their vision and their focus and where they are going you would realize that in a year's time the share price would have increased to 250 rands all right i i hope you 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 get that I hope you get that. So that is a prediction. The the the, the financial advisor is looking at the portfolio um, of a person who has invested on the seventh of June, twenty twenty one, um, would say no. Um, don't don't be fearful. Don't be afraid. Um, you know the company is growing. As you can see, you have invested from zero, and now it's fifty rand. I mean sixty rand, and now it's growing. You know. Um, so in a year's time, 
it will be a particular amount and now he if you if you would have gotten that encouragement that that means that um when it came to 28th of april 2022 the share price now it's 273 and if you have invested 250 000 rand here and now here the share price is 272 then that means you have made um a whole chunk of money so that's the 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 how and the when okay that's the how and the when when you study um you know the company that you want to invest in um in particular um tungela um you know you would look at where it comes from and how much it is now now it's currently sitting on 270 and now it's not it's really when companies in south africa um get to 2000 2000 year 2000 rands worth of share price you know in that increasing that means that um if i were to invest right here maybe my, i would i have 20000 rand if i were to invest 20000 rand and buy shares that are worth 270 um and wait for 20 years ne? let's say i have a son um you know my son is turning um one next year this time um, so if my son is turning one next year, this time, and I say, okay, by the time my son is 20 years old, I want to be able to give him some money. Okay. So what I would do is that I would take maybe, um, 20,000 rand that I have loosely in my account that I'm not using. And I would invest in Tungela, um, resources limited. Um, then in 10 years, hopefully it gets to 2000 years worth 2000 rent worth of shares. When it gets there, then I'll be able to take out that money and say, my son, I have saved this money for you. That, that's, that's the when the, the how and the when that's how the, this two come into, to, to, to making sense, you know, um, I can look at my, my company now, let's go to um absa for instance okay let's let let me address the how before i go anywhere further okay so the how would be uh how do i invest in um tungela right how do i invest in tungela using easy equity so i would go to invest now and <clears throat> when i get to invest now i would go to equity equities um when i get to equities um i would make sure that i search for um tungela you know tungela and there it is okay so i click on tungela that is the how we are addressing the how okay um i now research okay um i can click on um yahoo finance regarding this company you know so they can give me a background um of this company when it started where it is um, and where it is going um and i would look for myself okay the past month the company has been growing. Um, yes, it has been struggling. It has been facing challenges, but um, with where South Africa is economically, I understand. Okay. So now I would look at the fact that the company is growing. The past month, it, it, it got to 273, um, having moved from 256, it got to 273. And it went a bit down to 269 which means this company is growing yes it's challenges but it's growing the past three months how about the past three months um the past three months the company has been steadily growing um it started from um 113 rands and it went up to 269 so the company is growing steadily so that those are the that we need to look at is the company does the company vision is it growing is it getting to the point where i would want it to get as a as a as an investor um so at 2021 19 june um six months ago uh, we would look at 19 i'm sorry 19 june 19th of november 2021 um, it moved from 62 rand to 269. So the company is growing. Okay. So if I'm, if I'm, if 
satisfied with that. If I'm not, I can still go to one year and take a look at their stats and go to a um, mix looking at from the time when it started until now, the company has been growing. So if I'm satisfied with that, um, I can also go to um, Yahoo Finance. Take a look at how the company is doing to date. Um, it's basically or roughly the same information that we have on the graph that we have um, looked at, that we just looked at, and also we we can take off take on the metadata for lack of a better word for we would look at um, uh, when they give out uh, dividends. Where is it? Uh, oh, there we go. Um, when they give out dividends, um, dividend yield, you know, um, and all those things so that we can be able to know um, more about our company. If I'm not satisfied with that, I can go to um, roughly the information that um, will provide. And we're still addressing the how to invest um, um, in, in a company or how to buy stock. Um, using easy equities that's the how part we are going to get to the when and we have addressed a bit of the when um so you would say okay i have twenty thousand rands so click aside and you would see how much shares you are buying 71,03 um well technically 04 um but 03 um 84 okay so Trade value is to twenty thousand rand, so um, investment investment cost is one hundred and thirteen. That means that I'm I'm paying Easy Equities one hundred and um, fourteen um, for broker settlement and administration, investor protection, um, and value added tax, securities, and so forth. Okay, so my max amount that I'll be paying right now is. 20,113,30 cents. If I'm comfortable with that, then I would click on buy now. Now, that is the how to buy stock, how to invest on stock or how to buy shares from a particular company using easy equities that's how we do it so then you would get your congratulation that's your certificate you can share it on uh, facebook or twitter um you can um you know look at your invoice um you can um yeah you can choose to view your holdings it will take you to your holdings your portfolio or you can click on invest now whereby it will take you to more stocks that you want to invest in so basically we have invested twenty thousand rands that we want to be able to give to our child um in um 20 years time when he when he wants some money to purchase a house or some money to purchase a car or to buy to to pay um fees or whatever you know so that's that's how we would do it. That's how to invest in stock using easy equities. I just explained it and I hope you understand it. Let, let me do it, um, you know, just one more time. We're going to invest, um, let's say, 353, okay? We're going, to, we're going to click on invest now. We're going to click on invest now and we're going to go to e equities. OK, so if you want, you can invest on ETFs. I, I made a, a video on how to invest in ETFs, how to make money using ETFs. OK, so you can invest in ETFs. You can. I also made one on bundles and I think I made one on bundles, baskets, um, ETNs, crypto ETNs and um, equities talking about um, making a loan so that you can invest um for your future so um on how we're still talking about the how how to buy shares or how to buy stock from a company you would click on invest now go to equities and um for those that want to be safe you will click on top 40 companies top 40 companies are companies that are big top 40 big companies in south africa so you would go here and say that you are interested in mining the mining industry or minerals or whatever so what we'll do is that we'll go to anglo uh, platinum let's go to anglo platinum let's go to anglo platinum so as you can see share price is selling at um 1626.95 um, the last price was 1626 and it is buying at the same as that one, 1629,17 cents. 
Okay, so when you're looking at this, you might think, oh no, I'm going to lose money. Okay, it's red, it's it's going down, I'm going to lose money. But make your research, like I said, this is the how, okay? This is how the 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 how to invest in 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 a company using easy equities meets um when to invest in a company using easy equities. So that's that's how the relationship works. You know, you cannot separate the how and the when because it's they are both important. It might look like you are losing money, but the when will help you um, see that actually if I invest here, if I invest um, 5,000 rent here and, you know, it uh, the, the share price increases back to 2,000 rent, then I would have made a profit. OK, that's how the when encourages you. The when helps you to get information. You click on Yahoo Finance. You click on our research as Easy Equities. Then you take a look at the graph. OK, um, uh, it has moved from 2000 to 1600 discouraging but the when keeps on encouraging you again it tells you okay they moved from 2000 and went to um 2525 which would encourage you if you want to invest in this company for a month but if you want to do it for a long term you would think um, or medium term, sorry, medium term, you'd think, no, I'm not going to make money because it's going to go up and it's going to go very low and I'm going to lose money. Um, when you click on six months, then you will say, oh, something might have happened here to help it to, to make money. But then for the past six months, it has been losing money. You know, actually, it has not been losing money. It has been stationary. Because if you look into this, it has uh, the share price was one thousand six hundred and sixty three um, last year November, um, and now uh, six months later, it's um, on the sixteenth of May, it's one thousand six hundred and twenty three. So it has been stationary, okay? But something happened to help it grow. So maybe if I'm a medium term. Um, investor, then I might consider investing, hoping that this would happen again so that I can be able to make money. So let's look into the 12 month period. Okay. So the company, again, it has been stationary that past six months as we have looked at our research. And when we look at 12 months, it went down with maybe 10%. All right, it went down from 1,800 to 1,600. So if you are a long-term investor, you would say, okay, great, I'm hoping that it will grow. But if you are a medium-term investor, you would say, um, I'm not sure, maybe I should look into other companies or maybe I can invest a tiny bit amount. Um, but if you are a... Um, uh, a short-term investor, you would say, uh, okay, I, I will invest for a month and see how much I would make. So say we want, we are impressed with this information. Let's look at the company's history. So since 2014, it moved from 400 to 1,000 um, 600. So, oh, if I'm a long-term investor, that means that I can invest money for a bit of a um, eight to ten years and see if I would make money. So, if I'm a long-term investor, like I am, I I believe in investing long-term. So, I would invest five hundred, five thousand, let's say five thousand, and would say, okay, this is just once off. Okay, so I only have three percent shares, and I would buy those shares. That is the how to invest, okay? That is the how to invest. The when is all about looking at the information and um, is trying to see if you are a short-term investor, medium-term investor, or a long-term investor. And once you figure that out, then still researching on the when, um, you can go on uh, finance.yahoo.com regarding the uh, the the finances of the company and how it has been growing and the dividends and the dividend yield and so forth, the earnings and so forth and study this. That's, that will help you understand the when. And when once you get to understand the when, then you can, you can also go to um, 
the, the information that Easy Equities provides you regarding that company, the vision, the CEO, um, the company, how many employees and so forth. And you can choose to invest or not invest. But basically, that is how to invest on Easy Equities, how it meets the when. OK, so it's important for you to actually look into the information of the company, look at um, where the company comes from, um, how the company um, grew. And um, if you are a short term investor, a medium term investor, a long term investor and you know, study the company. If it means you withholding your finances for the next six to 12 months, just for you to study the company, then do that so that you can be able to see if the, if the company is worth your investment. Okay. I hope you understood how and when to invest in uh, a company um, using Easy Equities. Guys, please hit that subscription button and make sure that you hit the notification button so that you can get our videos as we um, upload them every week. Enjoy your week and happy investing and happy research. And remember, you have to research in order for you to be a fruitful and a better investor. So enjoy investing. Um, hit that subscribe button and that notification button. Comment on more videos on what kind of videos that you want to see regarding um, easy equities or more um uh, apps and softwares that you can use to invest. Thank you so much.